Hey everybody, welcome back to Civilization VI. Um, there's a lot of things that are happening right now that I'm kind of worried about. Uh, number one that has been pointed out is that Japan's getting a little bit weird around my capital. And if they wanted to, I guess they could just walk in here and kind of control it. So what I need to do is get somebody in there and garrison it, defend it. Uh, Oh, fuck. Sorry I tried to be friends with you. He's mad. I tried to be friends with him. Well, who's attacking me down here exactly? Well, oh, look at him. <laughs> okay. My offer, basically he's like, Listen. It looks like he'll give me, like, everything he's got. For peace. That's it. Uh, he'll give me all of his gold. He'll give me six gold per turn. He'll give me his luxury resource. I kind of think that's not a bad idea. What if I... Can I get greedier here? Because I do have a... What I've learned is I have a big upkeep for these soldiers right now. Oh, maybe I can't even do that. I probably That's probably all I can afford. <sighs> what do I do? I could make peace and then I could still, like, backstab him, right? I don't know if the other civilizations are going to be like, uh, that's a terrible guy to make deals with. So I'm never going to make a deal with him. But this is basically him being on his last legs. And... I think I'm going to accept this. It's a lot of gold. Yes, we are friends now. You just had to learn it the hard way, unfortunately. And I have taken your city. So there's also that. But now, we need to get way back over here. We need to motor. Uh, you can get a promotion, so let's go ahead and grab... You know, we could even grab Garrison. And you could be the one that we... That we Garrison. <laughs> we have a Settler. Okay, I, did we get the Settler from him? I don't think we trained one here. No, we didn't. So he must have had one there. Uh, let's fortify these guys until they're healed, I think. Uh, just stay there, I guess. There's not a whole lot I can do with you. I guess we should keep, maybe keep some defenses here. I'm honestly not sure of the best way to do this, but... We got a free settler, so now we can actually do both of these uh, positions. So, it seems like this is a decent place to settle. Uh, there were a few people talking about marshlands. And I'm not sure exactly where the marshlands are. It's all grassland. Grassland. Could it be here? Grassland. Hmm. I'm not sure. But I think the, the goal here is build one down near this area. With this guy that we're currently rolling with. I think on this cattle uh, resource is probably fine. And then... We may have a bit of overlap there, but at least we'll get to go one, two, three. We'll get this one. So I think that's pretty good. And then we get a nice, a lot of nice stuff happening over here. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah. It does overlap a bit. But I think, oh my god. Oh shit. That ain't good. I ain't good at all. 
Now, I've been seeing this thing. We can link these guys with warriors, so I guess they have like a permanent, um... They have like a permanent, uh, formation, so they're a little safer. This worries me. I sent you a trade delegation. Enjoy the Pecorino Romano, the finest salted sheep's milk cheese you will ever have. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate that. It is a scout, so it's probably going to be fine. Now, are we able to see what promotions these guys have had? So he's a level 2, I guess that's what that means. Oh, right here. Perfect. Range strength. This is the garrison. So I think we'll set him or them inside there. And do I have to do anything when they're in here? Like, do I just fortify? I'm not actually sure. Let's move these guys over for protection. And I think we'll just settle here. Boom. Now, gold-wise, we are making gold, which is nice. We're ahead because of all the extra gold from cities and from deals. Uh, that's going to last quite a while. We have luxury resources now, which I'm hoping makes some of those amenities better. So people aren't freaking out. Um, I'm not sure what to do. Like, So when we found a city, obviously the, their production is really low. So it takes forever to really do anything and we're not getting any advice here for what I should be doing with these guys um, but generally when I found a city I'm not sure the best thing to start with because it seems like it takes forever um, which I guess is kind of normal but if we get food and housing going that can never go wrong with that maybe we could build our campus here I don't know if it's beneficial to do so I don't know if we should keep all our districts in one place or spread them around. Like, I really have no clue. But, I think let's get a monument up here first. So we can start to expand the borders. Is there a way of tracking? Uh, excuse me? He says, your people are set a little too close. You should consider seeking land elsewhere. I don't know if you know this, but I basically own you right now. So, I'm going to have to say we're going to settle where they please. He's not going to respect me? Oh, well. He's already pissed. Claim a great person. You've earned a great person. need to choose whether to accept them or pass on them. Nice. So, hold on. Let's check this out here. Uh, Hannibal got a great general. Boom. Look at that. So now other people are doing, like, faith. That's cool. There's probably some science guys. Uh, merchant, prophet, scientist. Nobody's doing science. Uh, great people-wise, anyway. But I'm digging this. I don't see why I would pass. If we pass... Okay. If you don't want to recruit the great person, would rather save your great person points for a future opportunity, you can choose to pass. Passing costs 12 great person points and cannot be undone. The points spent will apply as a discount to the great person, allowing other players to acquire it for less points. Okay. But nobody else is really doing it, so I'm going to recruit them. It's going to be plus 5 combat strikes and plus 1 movement to classical and medieval era land units within 2 tiles. Grants 1 promotion level to a military land unit. Our civilization's dedication to military affairs has given rise to a great general among our troops. When used wisely in the field, generals can change the tide of battle in our favor. So we kind of want to fight around these guys, I guess? They have unique abilities, visit the Great People panel to learn more and track your progress, which we just did. Okay. I'm into it. Hojo Tokamuni has made peace with Brussels. So I'm kind of thinking now, 
to settle way over here. Probably... Well, we could settle right here. But I think we get more resources from, like, the inland stuff than the water stuff. until it's At least until it's improved. So if I were to settle somewhere, like, here, then we have uh, horses, we've got cattle, we could eventually get deer. Uh, we'd be really close to stone, we have some science. And these guys aren't going to connect. And we'll be able to make sure that we get this. I guess this is a bit of an overlap. One, two, three. So I could go... Maybe here? No, it'd be the same. I'd have to go here to ensure no overlap. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. But even still, to get out there is going to take some time, but we probably don't want to overlap them. Let's head over here for now. Poor scout. Okay, this is Hannibal Barca. Let's see. Transfer to another city. Grants one promotion level to a military land unit. Must be on a tile with a land military unit. That's probably worth saving because... I guess... Later on... Is, will it be harder to earn promotions? Like, more experience will be required? how much ground he can cover. Let's bring him out. He has, so he has influence around him, right? Within two tiles. Yeah, exactly. The number of faithful has grown, and it nice. is time for us to define our beliefs. Let okay. us choose a pantheon to worship. So we've hit a certain level of faith, I guess? Once you accumulate enough faith, you'll be prompted to found a pantheon, a precursor to the full-blown religions to be founded later. And it seems like a lot of these other civilizations are really doing a lot with this. Um, I do think I have an opportunity for science. I don't know if we're too far behind yet, but I'll try and uh, up that a little bit as, as we go. Choosing which pantheon to found depends on your short and long-term goals. After earning a pantheon, you're well on your way to establishing your religion. Unlike a full religion, a pantheon you choose will be unique to your civilization and cannot spread outside your borders or be displaced. Okay. So, we have a bunch of different pantheon beliefs that we can choose from. So, uh, plus one in many of the cities that they have a holy site district adjacent to a river. Pretty specific. Um, plus 15% production towards wonders. Production from marsh, oasis, and floodplains. Um, fishing boats. Food from camps, culture. Faith. Production from mines over strategic resources. Plus one culture from all of these different things. Food from these different things. Uh, 50 faith for each barbarian outpost cleared. That's probably... We've cleared a bunch of them. Uh... Healing increases healing by plus 30 in your holy site district or any adjacent tiles. Bonus faith equal to 50% of the strength of each enemy unit killed within eight tiles of the holy site district you own. City growth rates 10% higher and border expansion rate is 15% higher. I kind of like these. They're just constant, like always happening. Um, I kind of like the border stuff, but. You know, maybe, like, maybe the extra production is good. Or maybe just the basic food stuff is good. Um, I think we'll take... I'm really tempted to get border expansion. But maybe we take fertility rights. Yep, we're gonna do it. Cool. It's something that I don't have to, like, worry about too much. 
Does that make sense? If I get him in here... They should be getting a bonus from that, so... Let's take him down. Thank you. Good job, team. Let's get you back in there. I don't know if horse archers are the best to have in there, but at least we've got something right now. I do have to worry, like, these guys... Oh, yeah. Setting out a little builder, look at you. Oh, frick, they just keep pumping units out here. Okay, well... Still need more amenities, we are losing gold now. Uh, because of our huge number of units. I think there's a policy that we can enact, um, when we get to change these again where it's like less it's less basically is what i'm saying can he actually can he not attack or anything i don't think so hey retire does that mean we lose him if we grant this promotion level yikes Camp is ours. Alright, so... Up here... I'm thinking we get a granary grow, uh, going here, so we get extra housing. Actually, maybe the walls, because if we do get attacked, could be nice. Could get the holy sites up. There's tons of stuff we could be doing. Let's get the walls. Become a little safer. Here's our other horse archer. Japan's getting a little bit nutty. Kind of worried about this. So I think I'll just keep you in here. Uh, we'll garrison you as well. So you get the garrison strength. I like that. We're garrisoned over here. We're working towards this area. I don't know, maybe I should just go to Oslo now and be like, eh, we're done here. I guess we could wait till the end of the, uh, the 25 turns so that we could, like, capitalize on as much as possible. And maybe I should start scouting Japan here and see what they got going on. Yeah, I see you. I see what's going on. I know what you're up to, buddy. Spearman. Look at Brussels here. What can I do for you? Oh, trade route. Yeah, we should try and do this. We should try and get a trade route going. There's no real way of getting through to our other, like our cities over here, other than by the ocean or through this city here. So we should probably fortify this a bit more, uh, fortify our main city, and then take Oslo eventually. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if that's the right idea, but it's the game plan. I think we're just going to link these guys for now. Japan. Whoa. Do not show your blade unless you mean to strike. Move your soldiers from our lands. We're just passing by, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, but same goes to you, pal. 
Like, we are encroaching on each other's thing here. Like, this is gonna be a problem. For sure. No question. It's got warriors everywhere! Man, this guy's gonna make me regret being cool with him. Um... Yeah, let's just fortify you in there. Let's send these guys out. Get ready to defend against Japan, perhaps. Ironworking's hitting right away. I should probably just go kill this. Everything has its limit. Scout. Iron ore cannot be educated into gold. Okay, swordsman. That could probably be a good idea. I would say. Better than uh, our basic little warriors. Alright, research wise, what do we want to be doing next? It's a good question. Plus one trade route capacity. Great lighthouse. It's a wonder. Must be built on the coast. That could be cool. Get a harbor. Also removes the movement penalty for embarking. Plus one trade route capacity. We gotta get some trade routes up and going. Up and running, I think. We can build a market for extra gold. It's actually pretty good because then we can deal with the upkeep problem that we're having. Do it. Man, I'm just looking at all his... He's got a bunch of warriors. Like, if there's a time to fight, it may be now. I don't know. He's got tons of them. He's gonna catch on soon, I'm sure. But he should be intimidated. Got a district being done right away down here. In Marin. What? Oh! It's on, bud. It's on. Declare surprise war! We kind of knew that was going to happen. We kind of saw that coming, didn't we? Okay, well, we got ourselves a freaking battle here. And it's going to be dirty. Okay, so, we've got another district up here. Um... What do we need? Could build a campus? I just feel like these take so long to build it might not be worth it yet, you know? We do have a wheat tile here. We have one over here as well. So if we build the water mill, it'll give extra food and once we expand to there, we'll get extra food as well. Um... But, with what's currently happening on the battlefield, maybe we should be building... ...stuff like this. Pump out like a heavy chariot or something. Okay, I wonder if we can... I'm gonna bring you back. We'll fight the warriors here. Bring you guys in. Yeah. 
Nice. Cleared them out. This very lucky little barbarian gets to survive. Let's bring these guys in. The scout's in a bit of trouble. You can cover a lot of ground. Help! <laughs> They're coming into pillage? Oh, what the hell are they doing? My liege, we have an envoy at our disposal. Why? We can use the envoy to gain favor with the city-state. Becoming friendly with a city-state neighbor can be greatly beneficial to our civilization. So, what did we get an envoy for? The bonuses you earn from a city-state depend on how many envoys you've sent to that city-state. After earning multi or after earning envoys, you'll receive a prompt to choose which city-states to send them to. If you have multiple envoys, you may divide them between city-states as you desire. Declaring war directly on a city-state removes all envoys. Otherwise, envoys stay on the city-state permanently. Envoys at a city-state are visible to all players, and placing them may have diplomatic consequences. The bonuses earned are based on how many envoys you have present, regardless of who else has envoys there. City-states of a type uh, all share the same type bonuses. They're cumulative, and that as a player places... Oh, so that as a player places more and more envoys on a city-state, they stack with the bonuses from before. Okay, I'm not sure why we earn the envoy, though. Hmm. We already have one in Toronto, right? Plus two production every industrial zone district. Uh, plus two production in the capital and producing units. Wonders building in districts. Plus four gold in the capital. That's not bad. Maybe we send to Lisbon. Plus, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, these guys way out here. They're influenced by pretty much everybody. But if we get a campus district up, then we could get another envoy to send to them. And hopefully we get more influence and they'll do more with us. Okay. Is this guy really... Why? I don't think Preslav is attacking me. It's the there was like a Japanese guy out there, I think. Oh god. The scout might be in trouble. Can I attack from here? No, we're gonna have to move out. That's fine. Shot. I probably should have moved them there first to get the the bonuses. Very nice. Okay, so we're defending well at the moment. They might be like, eh, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Um, the other thing I need to do is I really need to surround a city so that they don't uh, regenerate points or health. We've got another archer over here. Try and come in from the other side. I'm not going to worry about the scout at the moment. I'm a bit worried here. We've been at war twice. Nobody else has been, I don't think.
my god. Um, let's move you away. Let's just automate you again. I probably don't want to have this guy sitting here. Um, we should probably move in to try and occupy this whole area. And we could probably move people, like, in and out as necessary. I'm just a bit worried about our general and how that's going to be impacted. Getting in there. Look at this army. Woo! That's not bad. I honestly feel like we can deal with that. Next turn, I can move these guys over, get these archers in. This scout, I'm just going to keep hiding, I think. If they want to keep chasing them, then great. Got a promotion available. Oh, now I see he's like, I'm out of here. Oh! Uh-oh. Are him and Japan working together? You're a disgrace. You occupy one of their cities. What the frick? <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, okay, so we've built walls, which means we've gotten a boost to uh, engineering for aqueducts and catapults. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Maybe a battering ram? Considering what's happening at this point in time, Traitor could be good. I think a Battering Ram. Or maybe another Horse Archer. Just pump these out. Because we get two of them right now. I'm going to do it. It's probably not the best call, but I just... I don't know how well we can do against these guys, so... in trouble. Nice. Okay, so that place is pretty much ours. Um, we're just going to have to defend against the onslaught that's about to happen. They're still chasing this guy. That's amazing. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Like, will Japan get to the point where they're like, ah, oh, maybe this was a bad idea, and they'll say, like, forget it? And this guy's denounced me. Are we still getting his benefits? Yeah, we are. So I'm not sure what denouncing does. It's basically like him saying, he's probably got a better relationship with Japan, and so it looks good for him if Japan's fighting me, and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just denounce you, you know? Uh, what do we want to build here? Maybe... Could build walls. We could get the shrine up. Food and housing. 
We should try and repair this thing somehow, but I think it's a builder that will do that, right? Let's get walls. It is an outer city. Now, I think we just need to move into the city and, like, take it, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got a promotion here. Take Arrow Storm. Let's move in. No? Can I move in here? Not sure. Do I have to have a melee unit maybe? Hmm. Where's that, um... Oh, he's over here. Let's exit this. I wonder if I need a melee unit. For settling, I think this is an okay spot. If I go here, it's one, two, three. One, two, three. So there'd be a bit of an overlap. This one's got more food, is all I'm thinking. But I guess... Yeah, it, we got a bunch of production on this side that I don't really want to miss out on. I, I kind of like this spot. Let's take it. And in here, let's get... Let's get a granary. Got a promotion here. We could go garrison so we can occupy this place. I'm guessing we have to go in with a melee unit. Japan's got to be like reconsidering this, no? Nope. I want to fight. Whoa, what was that? Okay, so we can take the promotion here if we want. Oh. Wait, what did I do here? Intel report. Gossip, nothing. At war. Rumor has it that Japan has just declared war. They declared war in Brussels. In the classic era. Worshipping the pantheon of God folks on sacred path belief. So they're down. Let me just check this again. Not the world rankings. Uh, capture... City? Conquering a city. When your unit enters an enemy city, you have two choices. You can annex it. Okay, it doesn't say it has to be a melee unit. keep, like, attacking it over and over and over. So I'm not sure what exactly is going on there. Ooh, 
What if I exit this formation? Can I send him in there? Nope. Can we only capture capital cities, maybe? Maybe that's a thing. Just says it's an enemy city. You can destroy the city if it was not a capital. Or you can annex it and make it part of your empire. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to take a break here. If you guys have any advice on what's happening with that city, um, let me know. But I, I feel like we're in a decent spot. We've got... All of a sudden, one, two, three, four, five cities up. We've pissed off a few people, but it is what it is. Uh, I feel like our our army is prepared to deal with uh, Japan if we need to. And uh, the only other thing is I, I really would like to get more science up and running, which we are going to get as we expand out to these tiles here. Uh, I'll probably end up purchasing this tile. Actually, let's just look at that right now. This is a decent tile that I think we could just purchase straight up. And... Whoops. And over here... One, two, three. We can't get there. One, two, three. So we'll have to expand from here to get to this one. But that's fine. The next tile we buy can be this one, and then we could buy that one. So... That could work. I think that's how we'll spend our gold for the next little while. Uh, we're in a good position. We're making money, even though we have a ton of units out there. And, uh, yeah. I feel like, at least on the small scale, things are going okay. I'm just a bit worried about these diplomatic relations that we kind of don't have. So, yeah, fun times. Anyways, we'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.